this often comes up, education and training so vital to Indonesia's future. Australia keen to get in and they've been pushing on that front for quite a, a while. Right. What role do you actually see Australian training providers and education institutions playing? <clears throat> I think one thing which we, <clears throat> again, have to be realistic, right? Um, the quality and the standards and therefore the cost of Australian vocational training is very high. In the short term, that probably means that it will have to start with a B2B kind of effort, right? It will be the Australian providers to the business users, the corporations, for example, the big hotel chains, right? And the corporates will have to cough up the money, frankly, which is gonna be not a small sum of money, right? Because going directly B to C, trying to go straight to the consumer, uh, I don't think it will work. Um, President Jokowi has already instructed uh, the economic team in the cabinet to start creating a student loan system, basically an education credit system, but it's going to take time, right? Um, training and education is the perfect item to be bridged with credit, right? Because uh, if you do get an expensive and high quality education, your income will double, triple, or even quadruple. So you will have no problem paying back the loan over time, but a high quality education is expensive. So without the you know, crutch or the facility of, you know, of a loan, mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't be affordable to most people upfront. Okay, so we, we could see, a, well, we will see a scheme, potentially, where Indonesian students will at least be able to have some form of funding for their education. I think it has to be. I think uh, my, you know, theory is that uh, it will be uh, the big corporate users, um, you know, hospital chains uh, for the nurses mm. uh, and the medical technicians um, and uh, big uh, hotel chains for the hospitality workers.